Welcome to our series of short video nuggets. This video continues the overview of the Distance 2 project. In this part, we'll observe the automation executing. The project files may be downloaded from the online help. We'll start by loading the Distance 2 project. Next, we will create an Excel spreadsheet that has the origin and destination in columns A and B of row 2. We will enter Chicago and New York as the source and destination. The formatting is irrelevant. We only need to ensure that the origin and destination are in the first two columns of row 2. We will save the Excel file as distance.xlsx in the ctemp folder. To ensure that the automation has unrestricted access to the spreadsheet, close the file. Click Run Automation. Automation Studio will minimize, and after a short while, the monitor will appear. Other than through the monitor, which is covered in a later video, the user does not normally see the automation executing. However, if you switch to Internet Explorer, you will be able to see the source and destination being pasted into the From and To fields, and when the automation simulates a click on Show, the calculated distances will be displayed in the distance fields. Wait until the automation is finished. Opening the distance spreadsheet, we will see that the distance by land has been inserted into column C and that a long trip comment has been added. Let's delete the distance and comment and change the origin and destination to London and Brighton. Save and close the file. Maximize Automation Studio or Alt-Tab to it and click Stop Automation. When the automation is stopped, click Run Automation again. Wait until the automation has finished. Opening distance.xlsx, we see the updated distance and that the automation has marked it as a short trip. Alt-Tab to Automation Studio and stop the automation. Thank you for watching this video. Additional fundamentals nuggets in the video gallery illustrate concepts used in this overview. Bye for now.